Hey guys, how's it going? So yeah, welcome to my second video of today. If you have missed the first one, I'll leave it down in the description for you guys. It was a 35k pack opening, along with some other packs as well on the Xbox One. So next gen gameplay, always awesome. I cannot wait to show you more of this. But today we have got my first ever online game in Ultimate Team on the next gen console, which is so cool. I cannot wait to talk over some of the features and the changes and how things look. It's really really amazing even with a crummy stadium like this one it still looks absolutely awesome but before we do get started if you're looking for a fantastically cheap and reliable place to get some fifa ultimate team coins from check out the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk and if you use the code toby10 you get an even further discount and here is our first goal really really awesome and this is something that's different you don't have a little pop-up that shows you who scored or anything like that it's just it's really fluid and it just feels like it doesn't stop moving and there's no pausing, there's no slowing down. It's really, really fluid and it makes so much sense. Oh, it's so good. I can't explain the changes without you actually playing it, but it just looks incredible. I really hope this video does it justice, but to be fair, YouTube is going to compress the hell out of this video. So it probably won't look amazing, but that is our second goal with Ben Teke. I'm going to show you guys this squad tomorrow because it's amazing and we do get an achievement here. Who needs a weak foot? 10 gamer score. It's pretty cool. And at that point, I was trying to make it record that, but there was some talking in my room at the time, so I didn't pick it up. But usually, the commands are absolutely superb and I haven't had any trouble with them whatsoever. It's really cool. Like I can't stress how good FIFA actually feels on next gen. I didn't think it was going to be that different because I played it at Eurogamer and it was just the kickoff modes and it was for such a short period of time that I just didn't get used to it and it felt really, really weird at first and it probably will for most people. Like It's so different and it's really tough to get used to at first but I've got used to it a little bit now and it's just so, so much fun. Like It's so smooth, the physics works really well and the animations, they're just completely different. Like the way the ball moves and your player moves, that's an insane goal. Like That is absolutely sublime and it's just really, really smooth. And they've made the presentation look a little bit more like TV. Like it's just really, really interesting. Like I hope you enjoy what you're watching. And I think I said the word like about five times there in one sentence. But I'm just so excited about this. Like, I've done it again, but it's so, so good. Like, the replays look absolutely phenomenal. It's really, really enjoyable. And if you want to get it, I'd thoroughly recommend it. Like, if you're looking to purchase it and you're not sure, you're not, you're not sure if it's actually worth it. Honestly, it is so, so much better. So we're coming up to the end of the game. We've got De Bruyne on the ball. You know what I have to do. The step overs work amazingly on the next gen, and it's in the back of the net. It's so, so good. And I'm going to show you all the replays for that goal so you can get a real feel for the graphics and the close-ups and the animations and even with a bad stadium like this the animations of the crowd and the actual stadium itself the atmosphere it was so good i cannot wait to change my stadium to something a little bit more epic like new camp or the burner bow just so it's really really awesome because the animations and the atmosphere of the stadium it's just absolutely sublime. Like, I really feel immersed in this nature, even in a bad stadium. Like, it's so, so good. I cannot stress how much fun FIFA is now for me because I'll be honest, I was getting a bit bored. And you get this really nice TV feel, like showing the player that scored. It's really focused on them. And it just works. It really, really works. And it makes it so much more enjoyable to play because the presentation's always been really average. Whereas on games like NBA and Madden, the presentation's been amazing and I really feel like with this FIFA on next gen, it's been stepped up crazy amount. And the replays, they just look so good. Just look here. I know it's from like various camera angles and you might think this doesn't even look that good. But when you're in game, when you're watching it, it is absolutely superb. It is so, so good. I really am going to enjoy making videos for you guys. Supplying storage will be back, of course. I just need to get my account onto the Xbox One but that would definitely be coming back. But everything is just so cool. The animation is amazing. Like, I didn't think I was going to enjoy this as much as I did. Like, I thought it's going to be good. It is going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be this different. And I'm genuinely so surprised in a pleasant way as well. It's awesome. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm so pleased I managed to win my first game. But thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like and take care, guys. Have an amazing day and goodbye.